that's a big jump and we realize that but you know it's a it's a chance and we didn't I didn't we didn't come just to say oh we ran in the oaks you know we we came thinking our horse was doing extremely well and and we think she has a lot more uh, to show us so we'll find out but uh, we haven't been tested yet she hasn't run her best race yet and uh, I'm sure we'll definitely get tested <laughs> pretty soon but uh, I, I feel good about it you were saying the other day you almost wished that Baffert had shipped one of his horses like he sometimes does to the Sunland Oaks to give you a gauge. Yeah, sure. I mean, you always want to go into a big race with worth a lot of money as easy, you know, with the easiest field you can and, and thinking you have the best shot to win. But, you know, this is a long trip out here and a, and a lot of preparation and, and it's not just that easy to jump up and come out here with one horse. And, and you know, I was hoping that we'd get tested and, and see what we had before we came because we really don't know for sure. Uh, you've won a lot of races, had a lot of nice horses, had Pepper's Pride, uh, never run a horse in Kentucky. No. Yeah. No, I had the opportunity years ago to come out here, but uh, I've got a family, uh, two girls, and they're in school, and it just wasn't, wasn't the thing for me. Um, I'm happy at home. Uh, we, we train quite a few horses. We start a lot of babies, start horses for other people. My wife trains <clears throat> performance horses. My daughters rodeo and, and ride them. And uh, so it just wasn't, wasn't the thing for me. But since Blame did you bring you here for a race, you certainly been to the sales in Kentucky, but for a race for the first time, mm -hmm. you know, just what your thoughts on that, on being in a race like the Kentucky Oaks? with a live shot oh it's it's super special i mean it's something you think about all the time and something you don't always think you're gonna do and it just happened that she came along and it's so far it's worked out hopefully cross our fingers everything goes well from now till uh, oaks day and and we get a run and and hopefully we do our best and hopefully that's good enough did you talk to chip <coughs> woolley who also you know came from new mexico before oh. coming out here about what to expect or oh sure I mean I've known Chip for 30 years and uh, talked to him all the time and I talked to him about it and you know he he told me what he what he thought of it and gave me some advice and and stuff like that he just said it a lot of people and just gave me some advice and you know stay calm cool and, and have fun I don't know what will be maybe 20 15 I, I, I think we'll be up there uh, you know she just hasn't she hasn't faced anything like she's going to face here with the graded stakes horses that are going to be in the race and uh, what they've accomplished. Uh, so there's there's going to be a lot of uncertainty when someone goes to the window if they're thinking about betting on her. But with Mind That Bird, there was some thinking that the altitude he was coming from maybe had played in his favor. Could that play in her favor? Is that? Oh, sure. I mean, if you believe in that. Do you then... believe in it? Uh, but the altitude, you know, if I was at Ridosa Downs at 7,000 feet, it, it definitely plays, you know, when you take a horse from there and go go somewhere closer to sea level, uh, it definitely plays a role. And out in the Park, we're at 4,000 feet and, and uh, real dry climate. Is that going to be a difference? I don't know, but if it is, great. <laughs> and did Mind That Bird surprise you in 2009 when... Oh, I think he surprised everybody. I mean, how could you not be surprised? I mean, it just... Uh, something that a lot of people wouldn't have done. I mean, it took them to do it. Uh, a lot of people weren't going to take a horse that performed like he did in his last few races and think that they could go to the Kentucky Derby and, and win. But they believed in him, they did it, and they got it done. And if you could just reflect on when you had Pepper's Pride, um, that was it 19 for 19? That yeah. That she went, yeah. Um. Oh, it was a dream, you know. Uh, she was just special. She, uh, she knew how to win, whether you, whether the jockey was ready for it or not, you know, she knew where the wire was. Uh, she always managed to win, whether it was by a head or six links that you know she she got the job done every time and you know different race tracks different distances come from off the pace from the lead it just didn't matter to her she was just special and you